Hey guys, I'm James. And I'm Steve. With special thanks to Tom Jurassic from the Jurassic Park community, we got given exclusive access to the Jurassic World exhibition in the London Excel. We were joined by YouTubers Swerve and Dangerville, and we were also joined by the UK representatives of Chaos Theorem, Sam Phillips, Jack Ewins and Ross Lane, with other members of the Jurassic World fan community. So, we're starting on the vlog here. We are on where, the train. Where are we going? We're going to the Jurassic World exhibition. Yeah, should be uh, quite fun. Got a big fan meet up. Um, there's obviously the exhibition we get early access to, which is really yeah. cool. Um, and yeah, should be a fun day. Can't wait. Excited. We are here. We are. So we've got to head over to the west entrance and we've got to follow. I'm not sure we can see. Oh, you can't see yet. Leads us the way to go. Yes. Clear the music as well. Yeah. Quick copyright. Uh, <laughs> very bright. Very, very, very bright. Very I can't see. <laughs> Tom. Oh, it's insane, yeah. isn't oh, it? Sam? Yeah. <laughs> Especially when they're like, oh, this is <laughs> So I'm joined here with Chaos Theorem as well. You alright boys? Hey uh, Robot. How's it going? California. How's it going? Ooh, I'm good thanks my man. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're joined from representatives from Smiths here. Hi, hi. How are you doing? And this is an exclusive Baby exclusive Blue, right? Baby Blue. Uh, it'll be in stock out of winter 2022 at Smiths Toys in store and online. You want to check it out? Sneaky. Wow. Alright, so we're on the Isa Nublar Ferry. About to board. So. Tom, you're not seasick, are you? No. <laughs> How does it feel to be on the plane from Jurassic Park 3? I'm hoping that I'm going to see a velociraptor that says Alan at any moment. Alan! It tells the tale of an ancient era when dinosaurs ruled the world. Many have dreamed of visiting them. And outside each of the amazing enclosures, like this one, the Brachiosaurus, you've got a digital screen which explains where it is on the island and some information about the animal itself, and uh, there's some more as you go around the park. In order to keep 56 metric tons of Brachiosaurus on the go. Baby Terry? Yeah. Do you know what this is? It's a baby turtle. What's his name? Is it, uh, what, what did you say? Is it Terry? Terrence? It's Terry, but you know what she is, though? Baby Tyrannodon. Tyrannodon? Oh, did you hear me? Yeah. No, no. Are you just a super expert? I'm an expert. You're the first person that has ever I'm, said I'm... Tyrannodon and didn't say Pterodactyl. What? No way. No, you must be an expert. I can't be you wrong. You should work here. Oh, I would love to. I would love to. Uh, so, you are absolutely correct. However, you 
Okay. Do you guys want to get in? Take a picture with her if you want. You can, you can get in. Does anyone want to come in and take a picture with her? <laughs> Also attached to the Brachiosaur paddock, there is a set of binoculars all the way around that enters into Gyrosphere Valley, where you can see some of the little surprises along the way. Any animals around? Oh, there, there, get him us. So, so far, so good. Yeah. You see the Brachiosaurus and a Sticky Mallet and a Pterosaur. Which, which means what? <laughs> Toothless wing. wing. Toothless wing. Yeah. Now we're just about to go into the Hammond's Creation Lab. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, that's cool, they're breathing and everything. Yeah, you know, anyway, it's so bad. And the last big one is Brachiosaurus, is it? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Right, so. That is one big pile. That is one big pile. <laughs> so, we're going to fill some poo, are we? Get your hands dirty in there, Steve. Get your own crap. Get your own poo, mate. Get, get your own poo. <laughs> Omnivore. <laughs> Omnivore poo. Just got bits in. Lovely bits of berries. <laughs> Oh, we 
need to meet baby Sniggy. We need to meet him. We need, we need to meet a baby Sniggy. It's just, it's just, it's got to be done. What's your name? Sniggy. Sniggy, 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 have you met the big sticky one? We have. So you see exactly how big she's gonna get. She won't be this cute forever. Shiny dome. Shiny dome. She looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> Today, you will get a rare behind-the-scenes encounter with one of Jurassic World's most incredible raptors, Blue. I want, to, I want to eat the live action bumpy. Live action bumpy while well, here she is. Oh, she bought it. She might do. Well, she did, she got me. Yeah, she wouldn't. But that, is, but, but that was my fault for putting my, my finger near her. Yeah, to be fair, she, she might mistake before. your fingers for mouth. It's true. It's true. She's still learning what her fingers are. No. She's Cute, isn't ya? Hey. Oh, what's that? She's, she's never seen a camera before. before. Right now, she will grow to be 9.6 meters ah, tall and 3.6 meters tall. Don't eat my camera. <laughs> One thing I will say though is that the Indominus Rex is phenomenal. The animatronic was so smooth, it actually looked real. And the sound effects were also superb. And it's one of my favorite parts of the exhibition. Um, you don't really get a sense of scale until you're stood literally by that fence. This thing was absolutely spot on to the movie. The animatronic looks real. And just look at this woman. That's not acting. <laughs> I think she was generally, generally fearful for that moment. So we've just seen the Indominus, insane. Honestly, the scaling, like I said, the scaling looks fun. Yeah, like, 
At first, because some of these animals are quite big, aren't they? Yeah. Some of them you think, right, so a bit oversized, but the Indominus I thought was bang on yeah. it, it looked real as well, didn't it? Yeah, um, yeah the actual animation was so good. I mean, stay tuned for me to probably see it in the video anyway. Yeah. But yeah, it was so good. And now, that's kind of gyrosphere. Looks like we're in Gyrosphere Valley at the moment, because we've got some gyrospheres to come and sit in. So, woohoo! So, should we get in the gyrosphere? Let's go. Let's wait for Swerve Man to get out of it. I'll let you get in all the way. You could have gone in. There we go. Right. Oh. There we go. We're in. We're in. Oh. So, where are we going? Let's go see some Ankylosauruses. Let's go. Do you like the camera? Hello. <laughs> What's that? Hello. Oh, What's his name oh, then? I don't know. This is Gamma. Gamma? Yes, oh. Gamma. Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh. You haven't said it. It's not your fault, is sorry, it? Sorry, sorry, everybody. That is an emergency alarm. And um, we are going to have to get you to a vacuum. Not meant to be in oh. And now she's not meant to be out. It's OK. Um, there's nothing to worry about. She's quite friendly. She's behind the fence. Oh, OK. Oh. I'm behind the fence. Um, everyone. Stay really, really still. Don't use your camera flash. Okay? Okay. So okay. you can't see us if we're not moving. Stay well, very still. That's the myth, anyway. The T-Rex enclosure was probably our favourite thing of the exhibition. It was absolutely flawless. The animatronic T-Rex looks visually superb. The scaling is unbelievable. You don't really get that sense of scale, a bit like the Indominus Rex of how big these things are um, and how good the uh, animatronic is to work with. So if you was an actor in the films, you know, working with these dinosaurs, how like realistic they look. And this, this thing moved like an actual animal. That's that what I was so impressed with. Uh, it was nothing like you'd get in a museum. It really was a fluid moving animal. And um, they did an excellent job. And honestly, you really need to go to get the idea of how uh, real this thing seems especially when you're up close it's huge and uh, yeah this is definitely the highlight of the trip and um, I, I would go again just to see this T-Rex. My vision is based on movement no flash photography okay guys no visual flash no, she can't see she's as blind as a bat you want to make your way to the gate get the gate open because you've got the code remember Hey Blue, Blue, how's it going, alright? Not much of a talk. Not much of a talk about Nothing, no. I've been abandoned. Steve has gone to the pub. I've just collected our uh, official, you know, cheeky photo with the Chaos Fear and Boys. Um, yeah, so just just going to the pub now to get a little bivvy. Come on, you got to get your priorities, lads. Hey, <laughs> how you doing? Yeah, so we're getting. What do you want to drink? We got a drink. We're good. I'll have a Guinness extra cold with Ooh. a black currant in, please. Ooh. I know Guinness and black. What have you gone for, Steve? Half a beer, am I right? 
And that is the end of the vlog. I just want to say a massive thank you again to Tom Fishenden for organising the trip. Steve and I had a great time meeting everybody from the Jurassic Park community. I'm having a few bevies, doing some Jurassic Park pop quizzes, meeting the animatronics inside the exhibition, and of course, just having a great time with everybody. So guys, if you haven't got tickets yet for the Jurassic World exhibition, I highly, highly recommend you do. We had an amazing time, absolutely superb, and you won't be disappointed. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell, and you won't miss another video. Only one thing left to say. I will find a way. Bye bye.